Hello and welcome back to Fallout 4. In the last episode, we made our way into uh, Kellogg's brain. <laughs> uh, we got hacked into his cybernetic implant to find information about the Institute, and that gave us information about a gentleman named Virgil. So we're uh, going into this heavily irradiated area called the Glowing Sea to try to find him. Um, as we do so, I would like to bring up that I am currently looking for ideas for exclusive content for people who would like to join either my YouTube channel or my Patreon. Um, I realize that, you know, if people are going to pay to watch my content, I need to provide them something that's not generally available to everyone else, and I would like to be able to find a way to do that. I'm being shot by something. Crap. got going on here is it just me or is this too easy uh it would be if i could see the rad scorpion okay anyways i'm gonna keep on walking and maybe it'll show itself I don't know. so yeah um as i was saying before i was interrupted I am looking to try to find some kind of way of producing content that, you know, is valuable enough that people would want to contribute to the channel. So if you have an idea of something that either you would like to see or you just think people in general would be interested in, please let me know in the comments because I would really like to figure out a way to make all of this work. Jeez, these are all, everything in here is so much tougher. But hopefully we'll level up again soon if we keep killing things this way. Just gotta try to keep an eye out for stuff. I'm glad I bought all that extra ammo when we left. Oh, there's a death claw out of there. Should probably go ahead and kill that. It's gonna be a decent enough a decent amount of experience points. Uh, can I hit him with my sniper rifle? In the face. See, this is my problem with the sniper rifle, is that... Almost always, it ends up being... Too, uh... This, the, for the, no, I'm sorry, not the, sni not the sniper rifle in general, but just... The, uh, the long scope. The long scope always ends up zooming in too much. It's great if you find something that's really far away, but outside of that specific use case, it's just, it's kind of a pain in the ass. So that's why I usually go with the medium scope. And I, and I knew better when I did it, but I was like, I saw the long range and the increased accuracy number and it's just, I, uh, whatever. Because most of the time you're not going to see something far enough out for the long scope to really be useful. The medium scope's good enough. Because I probably could have got a couple more shots in with the medium scope and been a little bit more accurate. And then as he got closer to me, I could have switched over to this one. But whatever. There are there are a bunch of locations in here that you can kind of go scrounge around in, but oh man, here we go again with the stupid digging in the ground scorpions. Crap! There was one. Oh, there he is. Jeez, man. Everything here is just very strong. We're burning through our ammo very quickly. Kind of sucks. <laughs> I 
think that was a warning that we we're getting low on our power core. The Crater of Adam. The Great Divide comes. Hey there. In the end, we are all Adam's children. Okay. May the glow of that. Stop right there, stranger. You approach Atom's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. I'm here because I need your help. Do you seek division? Have you come to merge with Atom, to be split in his infinite glory? Or do you seek to tear down his followers? I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. Um, you want to tell me? I need to speak with you. What do you need of me, child? I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Have you seen him? Yes, I know of him. What do you want with him? Mm. I need his help reaching the Institute. I have heard of this Institute. They hide themselves, trying to avoid the power of Adam. A futile effort. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Adam. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left you alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. Oh, that makes it easy. Of course, now we're getting a storm, so that's kind of sucky. But let's see, we need to go off in that direction. We'll try to make our way through this as best we can. It's gotten very dark now. Save just in case. Very easy to get ambushed here <clears throat> with all the weather being crazy. It's hard enough to see when it's just regular, and now with the storm, you can't see anything. It's the blood it's a sting, sting wing. Oh, oh, where? where? So fast. Okay, I got it. Oh, I didn't realize I was still in. It's it's so hard to turn off the mode, turn the mode on and off. Sometimes I keep I've complained about that in several videos that the bullet time mod that I have. It has this thing where sometimes you'll press the button and there's some there's either a delay or it won't activate. You have to press it several times to make it work. And then in this in this environment here, it's very difficult to tell because the environment here looks like I'm in bullet time all the time. Oh, 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 oh. Exactly how I wanted that to go, but whatever. Dad, oh, and here's the cave we need. Okay, very nice. Okay, well now that we're inside, I can hear my heart beating. I looked over at my hit points over there, and I'm like nearly dead. Didn't realize I had taken so much damage. 
So the only thing about the power armor version of the interface here is it's very difficult to tell what your status is sometimes. Excuse me. Hold it. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg? Huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Hmm, take it take easy. Take it dude. easy. Kellogg's dead. Dead. He's dead. Don't you lie to me. I'm not lying. I killed him myself. Did you? Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. So you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? Mm. I know you were part of it. And you escaped. They sent Kellogg to kill How you. How the hell do you know any of that? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me. Why are you even here? What do you want? Um. Relax. I just need to know how to get in there. Wait, what? Are you serious? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? Trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. Oh. Oh no. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help. But I'm going to need something in return. Okay. You help me and I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you're going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. Could return me to normal. You understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to I me. I think that's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you, all right? Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? No, never heard of it. Another secret of the Institute. Trust me, it's good that you haven't found out the hard way. Coursers are Institute synths. Designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do. And you're going to have to kill one. Why do I have to kill one? Because you want to get into the Institute. Remember? They're your ticket in. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now, I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You're going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay, let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. 
You've got a radio on that pip boy. When I get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to not get killed. Not gonna lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Okay. There we go. So now we can exit out of here, fast travel back off in... I think so. I think we can fast travel back out of here, right? Yeah, just gotta go over here. So, let's get out of here. We gotta go find ourselves a courser. So, um, I guess... I'm not really sure which option is the best. We'll do that one and then just, just kind of walk our way over there. So, yeah, that was the Glowing Sea. Not much to look at visually, but it's kind of oppressive and intimidating. And the monsters there were certainly pretty tough. My weapon can generally kill things in one or maybe two shots, but most of the stuff there required four or five. And man, we used up a bunch of ammo going through there. So let's see. I need to do... Mm, wait, I'm confused. Travel to the sea. Oh, I, I guess we have to get to the spot first, and then it'll give me the option to find it. So let's go do that then. Oh, it's much nicer when the sun's out, isn't it? Compared to the desolate wasteland we just came from. Courser radio frequency. There we go. So we just gotta walk until the signal gets better. As long as it's increasing, we're heading in the generally in generally the right direction. I wasn't really trying to fight those guys, I just... I aggroed one and we had to take care of them. Uh, now that we're done with the rads, let's go ahead and get rid of the, uh, get rid of the radiation that we have. So, put some rad away on there. And I'll go ahead and use a stem pack. Okay. Oh. What are you doing? Dude, I can't see my dot. I should have did the I should have did the circle one. I don't think the circle one was available though. I like the circle one because it allows you to have a, a nice big uh So it's definitely off in that direction. It allows you to have a nice big reticle on there so that when the scenery gets kind of ridiculous. 
when the scenery gets kind of ridiculous, you're able to still see where you're pointing. Okay, so this is the right direction. The signal's getting stronger. I don't remember exactly where I'm supposed to be going. I know I knew what I knew what dire, what general direction it was, but oh, you know what? I think it's this tower here. Yeah, I'm definitely getting close. Hmm, the only problem with investing heavily in one specific ammo type is when you pick one that's not not particularly plentiful. Uh, we don't need this. I don't think we need a signal anymore. That's annoying. Okay. Well, since we're in here, we might as well start grabbing as much... Uh, Grabbing as much junk as we can, because we need to we need to gather as much aluminum and things like that as we can find. The only thing about the red, the tactical red light, is that it makes every it makes it difficult to see any kind of colors because everything just looks red when you look at it. It's easier on the eyes, but it just removes all the contrast out of everything. Forces on the second floor. Kill on sight. Send reinforcements to the lobby in case there are more. There's some fighting going on over there. Am I being shot at? What's going on down How many are we seeing? You are seriously hot! You know that! No. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have uh, gotten rid of all of my regular weapons, because it seems like we're getting to the point where I'm going to be out of ammo in the relatively near future. Because we're not coming across anything that provides me with the ammo that I need. Let's see here. Thought it was me. Really need to remember on the third floor. Reports of the second intruder in the east wing near the courtyard. Really need to start remembering. Oh, fusion cells. That's what I need. I need much, much more of that. I really need to start using my my uh What's it called? All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and call that an episode because uh, I just realized I'm getting really late on time. Uh, hopefully, you guys are having lots of fun. We'll finish out this building in the next episode. Uh, be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you are and pushes the video out to more viewers. If you are not subscribed, please be sure to consider to do so because you'll know when the next video comes out. And I do have a link to my Patreon in the description. If you'd like to help me turn this channel into a thriving online business, I am looking for ideas for exclusive content to make it worth your while. So again, thank you very much for your time, and I'll see you for the next one.